many of which the human brain sees these as lines or objects. Here in Photoshop we see one of my favorite things, a skull. It looks nice and solid with a smooth lined edge, but if we zoom in we see it's nothing more than a collection of squares, aka pixels. All digital devices use an array of pixels. YouTube videos are 720p which is a short way of saying 720 pixels tall and 1,280 pixels wide. 720p is so much easier, but nothing but a series of blocks. So raster seems to be the way to go. But wait, even though nearly everyone has, has a cell phone with a raster based digital screen, what about posters or business cards? What about print? A poster is not limited to pixels. Enter vectors. Vectors are mathematically calculated curves. For you detail freaks like me, that's awesome! Here in the illustrator, the same skull looks identical at 100%. But look how smooth the edges stay as we zoom in. It's because it's in the computer's natural language of math and not trying to appease the human brain. But most art is not precise. Vectors are great for one reason. Unpredictable needs. If you make a logo in Photoshop for a business card only, it looks fine. But what if you need to put that same logo on a t-shirt? Or a side of a van? Rasters look ugly at larger sizes. Smaller is cool as Photoshop has great rescaling. But bigger is blurry, as there is not enough visual information to calculate it bigger. But vectors have the information for each line, from where it starts to where it stops. And the line thickness throughout. It can be put on a building and still be sharp. Vectors are more precise, so one may think they are limiting to art. So that might be correct, but you have Adobe Illustrator's <laughs> sloppy younger brother, Photoshop. To do anything Illustrator can, Photoshop and Illustrator are awesome at what they do. Photoshop, photo and image manipulation, and Illustrator for precise work, like design, both have their strengths, but they compensate each other well. Remember, it's not a program that makes great art, it's the artist 